Okay everybody, welcome to this video. In this video we're going to quickly discuss what AWS AppStream fleets are for. So an AppStream fleet consists of streaming instances that run the image that you specify. There's two types of fleets effectively and, it can either, and they can either be always on or on demand which means that when users connect if they connect to an on-demand fleet type the instance will spin up and that will take somewhere between a minute to two minutes before the instance is ready for the users to connect. In that situation it means that they don't have to pay so much for that instance always being online. Or if you connect to an always on fleet type that instance will be already powered on, will be connectable straight away but it means that whether or not you have users connecting to those instances or not, you will be paying for the minimum amount of instances that are running. Um, and we'll, we'll go into a bit more detail about that anyway when we create our on-demand uh, instance. It's worth knowing that on-demand instances, there is a small charge for them being powered off. So if you set a minimum of five on-demand instances, you, you, you pay a small nominal fee per hour for those devices to be switched off. Very, very small amount. Um, so you are still paying effectively for the reservation of those instances to be ready. Um, but they do take somewhere between a minute and two minutes to actually start up. And they will be started up as the user tries to launch a session. Um, you must select a compatible instance family with each image. So if you've created a general purpose image, you must have a general purpose instance family that is loading or connecting to that image. And the same goes for the graphics desktops and the optimized memory and so on. And finally, we must select an appropriate capacity for scaling within the fleet creation. So when you go and create a fleet, you say the minimum amount of instances that you want to be available up to the maximum amount of instances that you want to be available. Now, there are limits on your AWS accounts when you go and set that, so you may need to contact the support if you need to get a large amount of instances. So for instance, if you needed 50 users connect to connect and you needed 50 instances, then you would need to raise a support ticket in order for that to, to happen. And normally what you do is I would set a minimum of one instance and a maximum of 51 instances, just, just to give or take if you've got people logging out or somebody's still stuck in a session or they haven't logged out properly and that way you've got a little bit of headroom when the users are logging in and if we just take a quick look at the AWS fleet console here we are here we have no fleets available at the moment and you can click on the create fleet option and it's very self-explanatory. We go through and we give the fleet details. We choose the image we want to connect to. We configure the fleet settings. So that's the scaling settings and those sort of things. We configure the network that we want to put our fleets to be running in. So it could be a specific AppStream VPC. Um, and then finally we review submit um, and, and the, the fleet will go away and be created by AppStream. Uh, it's worth knowing that the fleet creation can take some time depending on the amount of instances that you've set as a minimum or a maximum. So uh, it can take sort of anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes for the fleet creation to be ready. But at this point, um, I challenge you guys to go on and try and create your own fleets. Go through, deploy the private AppStream image that we've created previously. Um, we could deploy it as an on-demand instance. Uh, I, I would suggest deploying with a capacity of one as a minimum and two as a maximum you may find that you have instance limits in your account and you may need to raise a ticket with AWS so just bear that in mind um, see if you can figure out where you would configure the domain settings for these instances um, is it something that we've missed is it something that we should have done in the image builder process or is it somewhere here within the fleet build process that you can configure it keep an eye out for that and we can walk through that at a later stage and here is a link to the developer guide for actually setting up stacks and fleets within AppStream 2. So feel free to use that and walk through the, the configuration. Obviously in the next video we will go through and actually do this together so we can create a fleet and, and I'll walk through those steps with you. Um, and here's, here's the Amazon excellent comprehensive documentation that they provided for the creation of fleets and stacks. Um, so that's it at this point. Um, I think if we continue and we'll do on the next video, we will do a deploy of the private image as a fleet and we'll take it from there. Thanks guys for joining and we'll see you in the next video.